You having a hard time with that board? I hope you got all day. You know you got a perfectly nice electrical saw there. It would go a little bit faster, I think. I mean, you're never gonna be done with your house. Shit, look at the plants. You already got plants on your house as you're working. Yeah, you're not the quickest carpenter. I want to say thank you to Marcus from Backwoods. He's one of the developers of We Stay Behind. Marcus approached me with a, what I can only think of was a general mail to anyone. But I took this personal and this is for you guys. We Stay Behind is a single player third person mystery game between dreams and reality. A comet is on its course to destroy a small town, but its inhabitants refuses to leave. They get a death wish and I'm here to find out why. I also don't use the camera here because I think this suits best if we can really get a feel for this adventure. And don't forget to let me know what you think about this game in the comment. Let's start. Laburnum Creek Health Resort. This reminds me a lot about Firewatch. Oh look at Granny. Laura's van. Can I jump into it? Police Department, City of Law Burnham Creek. Missing. Vicky Bryce, 23 years old, last seen in August 13. Yeah, you can call 111111. Someone is missing. That's all I can do here. Interesting. So this is me. Let me see if can I zoom in and see my face. I can. Interesting. Beautiful. Let me go over here. Can I run? Oh, I can run. Awesome. Are we here to find out why she's missing? trash can i'm an explorer you know i want to go around but yeah i think we have to go down here i think we have to go down here oh is that a canoe oh my this is actually beautiful look at this it's like fantasy is that Haley's comet is that the comet that's gonna destroy us oh my god dude this music is beautiful i really like everything here so far it's really nice let's go in here Let's see what this is. Can I zoom in ev even more? Oh shit, what's happening? I just slided right through the door. Uh, oh, it's a little bit weird. That's a beautiful painting. I always look at paintings in games, man. Look at that. And this what? Tristan Burger. <laughs> Why did I get hungry when I said that? Can I open kitchen? If I need any kind of crazy tea, this is the place to go. What do you mean crazy tea? You know, tea is my cup of tea. I'm just going into someone. Look at that painting. Someone really made a... Um, oh, I just go right through. I kind of like it. All right. We got some magazines down there. What is that? So, like, who's living here? I'm just walking around in someone's house. Maggie's shelf. Hey, Maggie, are you here? Is any Maggie's here? No, they're not. Okay, so I'm going. I'm actually not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But the music is really nice. Hey, Maggie. Maggie's bike. Can I take it? No, I can't. Okay. Maggie. Any Maggie around? So I'm a reporter and I need to report on this stuff. Oh, when I was in Denmark, they had houses like this. You know, where the roof goes all the way down to the ground. Interesting. Let's see what's over here. Can I see fishes? Can I jump in? No, I can't. All right. It doesn't look so warm anyway. It looks like it's autumn. Hey, Maggie, are you here? Hey, are you Maggie? Excuse me. Oh, hello there. A new face, uh huh? We won't get so many visitors these days. I'm Laura Tanner. Is it Miss Person? Miss Person? Oh, please call me Maggie. Welcome, welcome. I just called. I was expecting you already. Did you just arrive? <laughs> I don't know. Tell Maggie about the incident. Uh, hold on. What do I do? Okay, so. Um, tell Maggie about the incident. Don't mention the incident. What incident? I want to know myself. Actually, I got here last night. Something happened on the road. An accident. In the police station. You mean you slept there? Well, that's no place to spend the first night. Come on, i get you some tea. You can tell me what happened. <laughs> Dude. 
I'm gonna stop doing that. This way now. I'm afraid I don't have any coffee. I expect young folks prefer coffee, but I'm old and I drink tea. That's a better voice. I drink tea, I drink coffee. Well, I drink tea. I love tea. Humoring me, huh? <laughs> you know, you know, I can already tell. It's so nice to have a visitor again. Come on in. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I go after you. Yeah, there you go. Thank you so much. Make yourself at home. Oh, really? So, tea, tea, tea. There is some iced tea in the refrigerator and some peppermint and jasmine green tea. Uh, and there are some honey mushroom tea, still hot if you're feeling adventurous. Oh, honey mushroom tea. Uh, I'm just like, is this like the honey tea that will give me a buzz? <laughs> Does it have vitamin B? I never heard of a honey mushroom tea. I make it myself, it's very refreshing. With just a little kick. When you say kick, you know, I wouldn't drink it before operating a crane or doing any open heart surgery. Yeah, I wouldn't do any surgery in any situation. Choose honey mushroom tea. Yeah, of course. And I wasn't planning on doing any open heart surgery. Yeah, exactly. Honey mushroom tea it is. Coming right up. Take a seat, dear. Oh, sweet. This genius of a mushroom only grows in Lawburnum Creek. Oh, wow, yeah. Now, don't be nervous. I don't make it too strong. But don't, don't, don't think about me. We don't need you floating out the window. We all float down here. Think of it like putting on a pair of reading glasses. Everything gets a uh, sip a little bit sharper. Armchair. So I sit here. Hmm, beautiful. You got a lot of plants, lady. And a bunch of pillows. Are you making my tea? Yes, you are. Oh. Is this a cozy game? I really like it. Oh, that's better. So, you're a writer. Anything I would have read? <laughs> I read your mind. Well, Lawburnum Creek would be the perfect setting for a romance, don't you think? Be honest, be evasive, or be blunt. I will be honest. I'm not actually a novelist. I'm a reporter for the Clarion. I'm writing a series about small communities facing an ex existential threat. It's like a comet, you know? Well, they don't come smaller than Lower Burnham Creek, I suppose. I know everyone and everything here. So whatever you need to know, just ask. Ask about the resort, ask about mag. Yeah, about, yeah, we talk about the resort. Tell me about the resort. Back when spa was open, there was really nothing else like it. People came from everywhere. Even from the big city. Movie stars and Kennedys all running around in their woods, in their bathrooms. Wow, maybe I'm writing a book about the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. It's so much quieter now. That's how I like it. Folks in Lawburnum Creek prefer to live in the present, you know? Sure. Keep listening. I expect you want to talk to everyone. There's the Beaumonts over at the go- The demand. This is- I can't- I don't have time to read this. The whole hotel is pretty much mouthballed these days. He got sick, you see. And I'm sure Mrs. Harris would talk to you. She's an artist, you know. No, I don't I don't actually know, I just arrived. And well, Foster Lowell knows his place better than anyone. Apart from me. It's just a matter of whether you can catch him on a good day. And talk to Frank Largara up in the lumber mill. This is all great, Maggie, but I think I'd like to unpack first. Of course, of course. Shut up, Maggie. Let the girl settle in. What is going on? I'm sorry, it's just that I slept so badly. My head is pounding. Ah, she said knowingly. Well, I wouldn't worry about that, my dear. Visitors of the resort often take a day or two to get in tune with the vibrations. 
Be inquisitive or be skeptical. I don't even know what that means. I take the first one. The vibrations? You can feel them. Maybe it's just the mushroom tea. Well, I don't know if it's the altitude or the way the wind shudders through the pines. Maybe it's cosmic rays. I couldn't tell you, but Lower Burnham Creek does something to people. It's doing its thing to you right now, and you are going to feel so much better soon. I can't wait. Now let's get you unpacked. Wow, some of these lines goes re like very quick. I, I don't have time. Johnson, so you received a warm welcome. I'd say so. Maggie was very nice to me. She fixed up a cabin and I was able to get some rest. So far, that sounds pretty good. The next day, I had to look around the Law Burnham Creek. Also, I'm talking to my boss. Look at the water, man. This is beautiful. Am I just gonna sit here? No, I can actually uh, move. Mmm, Maggie, Harris. Also, this is... Pla oh, I can just pick places to go. Oh, interesting. Let's go to Harris. Oh, easy. Oh, look at this house. It looks awful. He's a lumberjack. Are you doing okay? You having a hard time with that board? I hope you got all day. You know you got a perfectly nice electrical saw there? It would go a little bit faster, I think. I mean, you're never gonna be done with your house. Shit, look at the plants. You already got plants on your house. As you're working? Yeah. You're not the quickest carpenter. Hello. Well, hey there. What brings you to Law Burnham Creek in these strange times? I'm writing an article about people here and about the comet. No comet! Haha, <laughs> a meteor. Like, that's our biggest problem? No, your board is your biggest problem. Anyway, welcome to Law Burnham Creek. Interview, problems, Mimi. Goodbye. Uh, I don't... Interview, problems, Mimi. Oh, this was actually hard. Like, what am I supposed to do? I need to talk about... Like, I want to talk about the... Comet. Interview. Do you have any time for a short interview? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta make progress. <laughs> and Mimi's mad, busy with her sculptures. Best not to bother her when she thinks... I don't even... You know how it is, yes, too bad. But I'm going fishing on the lake tomorrow morning. Why don't you come with me and we can talk? Sounds great. I'm in. Uh, you know what? Uh, can I talk like Mimi? Let's see what that is all about. I don't want to assume anything. Mimi is your partner? Haha, <laughs> yeah, she's my wife. It's okay, you're not the first to ask. She's a tad bit younger. Tad bit younger? Oh my god. Are you working on the house together? I mean, yeah, well, oh my god. When she needs to sculpt, well, she needs to sculpt. Yeah, and when you need to saw, you need to saw faster. Is that a MC Woodsmith cut? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, sure it is. Dude, um, yeah, I'm not sure what I will do with this playthrough, but it's gonna be awesome. Problems, let's talk about that. What do you mean? This town has bigger problems than total extension? Extinction? Extension. <laughs> Lobernum Creek is a weird place, I'm sure you've noticed. Yeah, I've noticed. Have you heard about Vicky? The poor girl disappeared without the trace in the forest. And people talk about some kind of monster out there. We don't even know for sure if the meteor is actually gonna hit. It could burn up in the atmosphere before it's even hit land, or sea, or it might hit the boar. It's never gonna break. I'd say that lump of a rock in the sky is the least, least of our worries. Yeah, I know, it doesn't make any comet sense. Let's talk about the fishing trip then. I'm looking forward to catching some fish tomorrow. Me too. I normally go with Foster, but she said she couldn't make it tomorrow. Do you know Foster? Foster? Foster Lowell runs the store downtown. Great guy. Salt of the earth. He's been good to us through the years. <laughs> I'm sure he could make time to talk to you. He lives up in Coinfer Canyon. Maybe you can pay him a visit. Oh, thank you so much. I know. Okay, so renovation. Should I talk about this board that you have issues with? Are you renovating the house all by yourself? Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of flowers. Sometimes I feel like I'm not making any progress at all. Oh, are you sure? But I gotta make it ready for the whole family of Harrises. So I gotta keep at it. I feel you. Yep, you just keep doing you. You're probably gonna be done. Sometime. Alright, map. Let's go to what? Foster... Foster... Foster? 
Oh, we got back here. So I made my way over to Foster Lowell. Your first interview. Exactly. I was pretty excited. How did your head feel? I got better. Maggie said the pain was just me getting acclimated things. That's how I type. I didn't ask what you meant. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Alright. I... I'm not... Oh. Oh. Am I supposed to drive? Oh, and turn. And the interview. What were you hoping for? Insight. I was anxious to hear each and every one. I wanted to get to the bottom of it. Why did so many people want to stay here? When it meant their certain death. Oh, maybe I should turn. Ooh. I see. At that point, I had no idea what was to come. Maybe Comet. You know, that Comet is kind of a weapon of Mars distraction. <laughs> hey! Allow it. Oh! Excuse me. Sir? We ain't buying. I just want to talk to you. I'm a writer. Well, we ain't buying books either. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mr. Lovell, please. My name is Laura Tanner and I'm a... What did you say? Wait a minute. You? Is everything okay, Mr. Lovell? No, nothing is okay. You shouldn't have come. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. I understand that, sir. The comet is actually the reason I'm here. Can we talk? Follow me. Oh man, he's a nice guy. We're gonna go out here. Did you have a beautiful uh terrace? Do you say terrace? Man, you guys like your flowers. Oh, oh. Have a seat, miss. Alright, okay. Hold on. Yeah, you took my chair. Oh, is that my chair? No, is that your chair? Oh, now I'm stuck. Yeah, okay. Uh, I broke the... Oh. You wanted to ask me something. Friendly, tactful, or direct? Yeah, I'm gonna go for direct. I don't have time for this. What can you tell me about the comet? Like, what's its name? How fast is it going? You probably know more about it than me. Yeah, probably. I just know it's a falling star. Hell, maybe. They're all falling. Do you think this guy is falling on us, Mr. Lowell? Oh, sure. Wanna borrow an umbrella? I'm good for now, thank you. So, are you really going to stay in Lawburnon Creek? Where else should I go? Well, I don't know. Away? The locals stay with the family, go anywhere. Is everything okay, Mr. Lowell? You seem a little on edge. Maybe I have a reason to be on edge. Okay. Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm sleeping badly. Bad dreams, you know. Can we change the subject? Yeah. Okay. I'm also sleeping badly. Maggie says it has something to do with... Vibrations. Haha. <laughs> exactly. I was gonna say Comet. Yeah, we got a lot of vibrations around here, according to Maggie. If the vibrations don't get ya, skaters will. I think that's a joke. Now Maggie's a sweetheart. But she has no idea what's happening here. So what is happening? There's obviously something on your mind. My mind? If you could understand the strain... Oh my... Feels like... Feels like this place is pulling me apart. Those dreams. You tell me about your dreams. I see... Uh, things. At night. I know I'm not the only one, but no one talks about it. What do you see? I... I can't... I just can't. Maggie tried to help, told me to write it down. Didn't much help. Some things are hard to put into words. Felt like self-indulgent foolishness. Oh, I can only shoes press him? Let's do that. Could you try to describe your dreams for me? I tried. I wrote it all down, but... You know, what they say about small towns like this. There's something in the water. I think it's true. What do you mean, Mr. Lowell? I see things, and then they're gone. It's like something out of the corner of your eye. I've seen you here before, too. Miss Lowell, I just got here yesterday. I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. It's the water. I haven't touched it for a week. 
but it's getting worse. Mr. Lowell, stop pushing me, okay? I told you I didn't want to talk about it. Okay, okay, let's take a break. Is this what you do, Mr. Tanner? Go around interviewing crazies and kooks? Get a funny story, put it on your article for city people to laugh at? Be honest. I've interviewed my share of crazies, Mr. Lowell. And I know a cook when I meet one. I don't think you're crazy. I think you're frightened. I just don't know what you're frightened about. You're damn right! Got me trapped here like a caged animal. You should leave. What? Oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Don't kick your table. You can't help us! Run. <laughs> All right. And the night after that, it happened. What? What happened? Why is it glitching around? Explosion in distance. What? Holy my moly. What just happened? Is that the comet? That's a small comet. Oh my god, it's loud. Hey Maggie! That's not the comet, is it? That's a small explosion. I think he burned his house down. We stay behind. Well, I want to know how this ends. Well, Marcus. Let me know when there's more to play. And until then, I'll see you guys again.